Hey what's up guys, Chris here, and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to get the American version of Netflix anywhere in the world. So no matter where you are right now, after this 5 minute video you'll be able to access the American version of Netflix. Now you may want to get the American version because there's a certain movie or TV show that is currently not being shown in your country, but it is available in America. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to make your device look as if it's in America. So it would trick Netflix uh, to think that you are supposed to be accessing the American version. So how we do that, uh, I'll be showing you in the next couple of minutes. But first of all, I'm just going to quickly prove that I'm currently in the UK and on the UK version. And I'm going to do this by going up to this search box here and typing in The Walking Dead. Okay. So along the top here you can see there's no options for The Walking Dead. That's because it's not currently available to stream in the UK. So how do we get the American version? Well it's very simple. We simply go up to the top URL box here and we type in strong vpn.co. Okay. So there is a link below this video uh, that you can press and that will take you directly there and open up in a new uh, window. I just press enter. Um, this is a VPN service, so what they do, they make it look as if your device is currently in the US. But you don't just have to set it to the US, you can make it look as if you're in other countries as well. Um, and that will help you access other content in different countries, such as Australia. So if you are an expat in Thailand, Thailand or wherever you may be, you will even be able to change your device to make it look as if it's in the UK. So you'll be able to watch all the UK content such as BBC iPlayer etc so it's not just used for Netflix uh, it's also used for security and privacy as well to stop the government snooping in uh, on what you're doing online so a lot of people use it for that as well it is a multi-purpose kind of software okay so it's not just used for Netflix but we're going to use it for Netflix because it works great now what we need to do we, uh, you need to join up to strong VPN so you can just um, press the join button here And there's three simple steps, which it says at the top here. Um, now it's a monthly uh, fee. Okay, you can pay every month ten dollars a month, or if you wanted to pay for twelve months up front, uh, you effectively get it nearly half price. Okay, so select your plan, type in your email address, and choose your method of payment. Okay, if you do get stuck along the way or at any time, they've got a 24-hour chat service down in this corner, so you can start a chat at any time. But once you've done that, you'll receive an email from StrongVPN, so make sure you check your emails. But I've already got this on my computer, so I'm just going to go over to the page that the email will direct you to, and that is like the download page. That's under VPN apps. Now, this page actually detects what, what device you're currently using, so it knows I'm using a Windows, so it's automatically come up here saying download client for Windows. So I'm going to do that. But if you are using a Mac, then it will come up here automatically, but you can also choose different devices down here if you just wanted to see the tutorials. Okay. Um, so we press download client for Windows. Down the bottom here, you get a little pop up. We're just going to press run. And I'm just going to let that download. So once that is done, there will be a little pop-up. Uh, you're just going to press yes. And then this is the setup screen. Okay, so it's, all we do is press next. It will make you read the uh, terms and conditions. But if you do want to read them, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and tick the I accept the terms of this agreement. Then press next. Just press next again and install. There will be another pop-up. Saying, and you just click yes, and that will download StrongVPN. So that is all been downloaded to your device. So we just press run StrongVPN, and there would be another pop up. We just press yes again, and that will start the client. Okay, so this is the uh, StrongVPN client, this uh, square here. Okay, this is where we change uh, or select the, the the country that we want to be in okay so for this example we're gonna connect to Dallas okay but I'm just gonna quickly press this just so you can see that you can actually connect to any server I think there's like a good 40 or different servers that you can actually uh, 
connect to here from all over the world. But for this example, we'll just select Dallas and press save and simply just press connect. Down in the bottom right hand corner, it will say you are now connected to Dallas, United States. So at my computer, even though I'm sitting in England, it thinks I'm currently in Dallas. Okay, so if I minimize this and go up to the top, and I'm going to go back to Netflix. And then, believe it or not, this is actually the American version. So if I went to my search box and typed in The Walking Dead, you'll see The Walking Dead is currently available to stream.